and select the device you want to view. Hello all, sure on YouTube, I'm on. back with the video. Tony's kind of been waiting for this, and a couple of other people have asked me about it. I know you could probably just go on YouTube and look it up yourselves, because people have done it before, and I know that. I'm saying that in case if anybody else decides to come on my video and be like, Oh, I've already seen that before. You know what? I've had a request for this, and I know people that I have asked me can probably go look around, but... Uh, it's a request, and you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out of the way, so, and show, well, we'll see it, because, you know, quite frankly, I haven't really seen it play on a TV yet. I mean, I could go look it up, too, but why bother when I can find out on my own? I don't really need to give someone a one, a plus one on their videos when nobody comes to see my video. So, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Hold off one minute. I'm pretty sure that's what's in this spot thing, in this package. Yeah, this this came from California. Anyways, let me go ahead and break it open. Oh, and by the way, Tony, I did take up that offer and I got a couple of boxes of eclectic coming in. So, yeah, I just couldn't say no to twenty dollars a box. But yeah, boom. If this little thing works the way it sh I think it should, because this only costs like two dollars and sixty cents, but if it works the way I think it should, then you know what? We'll be able to we'll be able to use the Neo Geo. Oh yeah, that's what this video is about, by the way. Let's see. Let me go ahead and get a get this. Stick this in here like this. Yeah, I know you perverts. Don't need to remind me about stick this in here, but yeah, you know. And you're gonna go ahead and stick this over here. So move that one out and put this one in like that. Let's see. Oh, I likely gotta plug this in too, so we'll plug that in right there. Plug. And voila, did it work? Doesn't look like it did. Oh, it fell out. Mother, holy crap, man. Let me see. Stick this back in there again real quick. There's the thing, by the way. Oh, I got hit from behind. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Boom. Okay. So here we go. This is actually on the TV, by the way. See? The TV. It's that. Oh, it turns off right there, it looks like, while it's on the TV. Okay. It's my first time testing it on the TV. It don't look too bad. Of course, my camera is going to show it looking like kind of like shit, but that's what's up there. I'm going to pick out one of my... Oh, I played that one. That shit was hard. When you die, I think this is the only game that you're going to have problems on. When you die, you go all the way back to the beginning of the freaking uh, stage. So, this game sucks. And just open one up and see what's up. Just like the freaking arcades. I probably ain't gonna be able to play because uh, I'll have to be holding it with one hand and I don't really want to do that. But yeah, just to show you guys. Okay. And you push both uh, start and select to hit, bring up this and then you hit the A to exit.
You want to try another one out? I don't know, it looks pretty good to me on, on, on the TV. Honestly, I gotta say... It looks a lot, I mean, in person, it looks a lot better on the TV than the other two mini consoles do. That's pretty crazy. And King of Fighters 97, the Slugfest, is only on the, in the arcades, I believe, and in, on an SNK system. Because slug, the other ones are just called 98, and 98 uh, Ultimate Match. But Slugfest didn't go on to any other console. Go back over here again real quick. Childhood memories right there. That freaking jingle. I could have bought a mini HDMI for like $5.50, I believe. But this little thing that I connected to the HDMI cord, why why buy a mini HDMI when I could just buy that little piece for $2.35? Honestly, that's my favorite King of Fighters. 97. I don't know, I just like Orochi. Ninety-five was the technically the only King of Fighters that made it to the United States. They also made a Game Boy port that made it to the United States. Game Boy Color would also get ninety-six, but we would not see another King of Fighters game hit American consoles until ninety-nine came. Why would they make the worst? Why would they come back and make the worst King of Fighters of all time as a game for the US as well as Japan? Doesn't make much sense, does it? After 99, every other game started appearing. I'll just let a demo play. You guys can see what's up, how it looks. Hydern versus Hydern. So, go ahead and not bad at all, as far as I'm concerned. Not bad at all. But you know, like I say about this thing, they could have had because there wasn't very many titles. They don't have very many titles on the on the Neo Geo. They could have done a lot more. They could have put a lot more games on it. Actually, this is another one of my favorites was 90, it was 2002. 2002 Unlimited Match 
the best fucking one of the best fucking King of Fighters games ever made. You can uh, download that on Xbox and and uh, PlayStation if I remember correctly. But this is the one. This one first appeared in in America as this title right here. Uh, of course, this title doesn't have all the characters that the that the port on PS2 had. And PS2 was a package deal. You had you got 2002 and 2003 in one package in America. Well, in Japan, they basically sold those two games uh, separately. Same with, uh, they have a 2000 and 2001, but that's a little bit harder to find. But yeah, there's a package for the US PS2. That's got 2000 and 2001. Another thing that I find that's missing, I don't know if it's just me, but they don't have the hidden moves. The hidden desperation moves on this one. favorite series wish they would have done more than two games but yeah whatever I think it's better than Samurai Showdown Samurai Showdown is okay but when they added those stupid little how do I call it little gauges where you have to literally let it go full in order to get a good shot and hope that they don't block that's the worst part your damage depends on how much gauge you have on Samurai Showdown this I like I like Last Blade better. There's just no comparison to how good Last Blade is compared to freaking uh, Samurai Showdown, but they'd rather make Samurai Showdown even though they keep failing. Of course, as you guys have already seen all this other stuff. World Heroes. Kazuna Encounter. Counter. But anyways, yeah, just show you guys a couple games just to see how it goes. It's not bad. I think the output is really, really solid for for uh, TV. It looks really good. Matter of fact, I don't even think it looks that bad on the little screen that the console comes with, but I mean, on the TV it looks pretty solid. Compared to the other games that I've... I mean, compared to the other two systems, the... Don't get me wrong, the NES and the SNES, they looked good, but I think this one looks better. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.